In this video demonstration, we will see about, a differential bacterial staining technique. Gram, staining. This protocol, is used to, differentiate, and classify, the bacterial organisms, into two large groups. The differential bacterial staining technique. This is used to, differentiate, the bacterial organisms. Gram staining, and, acid fast staining, are the differential bacterial staining techniques. Gram staining, differentiate, the bacteria into, gram positive, and, gram negative bacteria. Acid fast staining, differentiate, the bacteria into, acid fast, and, non acid fast bacteria. We will see about, the acid fast staining, in next video demonstration. Gram staining. The name comes from, the Danish bacteriologist, Hans Christian Gram, who first developed this technique. This is a differential bacterial staining method. Here, more than one stain is used. So, this technique, is used to differentiate, and classify, the bacterial organisms, into two large groups, gram-negative, and, gram-positive, bacteria. These two groups, are different in their, cell wall constituents. The gram-positive bacteria, have, thick peptidoglycan layer. But, the gram-negative bacteria, have, thin peptidoglycan layer. And, in addition, they have another layer the outer membrane, which is rich in, the lipid content. Coming to, the principle behind, the gram staining technique. This technique, differentiate the bacteria, based on their, coloring property. Therefore, we see their coloring property, of these two bacteria, in parallel. Once the bacteria, are treated with, crystal violet, which is a primary stain, gives a deep violet color to, both the bacteria. Next, once the bacteria, are treated with, Gram's iodine solution, which is a mordant. It fixes the crystal violet, only to the gram positive bacteria. Because, they have, thick peptidoglycan layer. Next, when the methanol is added, which is a decolorizer. It decolorizes, the primary stain, easily from the gram negative bacteria. Because the stain was not fixed with the gram negative bacteria, due to, thin peptidoglycan layer. But, the gram positive bacteria, retains the crystal violet. Lastly, on use of counter stain, the dilute carbyl fustian that gives, pink color to, the gram negative bacteria. So, on gram staining, the gram negative bacteria, appears pink, and, the gram positive bacteria, appears deep violet. This color difference is due to, their difference in, their cell wall constituents. The gram positive bacteria, have, the thick peptidoglycan layer. But, the gram negative bacteria have the thin peptidoglycan layer. So, the gram positive bacteria fixes the primary stain and they appear deep violet. But, the gram negative bacteria do not fixes the primary stain, get easily decolorized and takes the counter stain. So, they appear pink. The video demonstration first, we will see about the preparation of the bacterial smear. The materials required are the bacterial culture plate, the inoculation loop, the distilled water, the spirit lamp, and the microscopic glass slide. These are the requirements for preparing the bacterial smear. First, ignite the spirit lamp. Flame the inoculation loop to red heat. And then allow it to cool. Take, a clean, microscopic, glass slide. Place, a drop of, sterile distilled water, on the clean, glass slide, with the help of, the inoculation loop. Take, a small portion of, the bacterial colony, from the bacterial culture plate. And, emulsify, it with, the drop of water, on the glass slide. After emulsifying, spread the smear, to the size of about 1 cm square so as to form a thin film after spreading allow it to air dry it may take 2 to 3 minutes for drying after air drying fix the smear by heat by passing over the flame 2 to 3 times with a slow sweeping motion. This is called heat fixation of smear. Now, 
this heat fix smear is ready for the staining. Next, the procedure for the Gram staining technique. The materials required are the heat fix smear, the crystal violet staining solution used as a primary stain in this experiment, the Gram's iodine solution used as a mordant, the methanol used as a decolorizer, and the dilute carbyl fuschian staining solution used as a counter stain in this experiment. These are the four important solutions required for conducting the Gram staining technique. Apart from this, the other requirements are the distilled water, the blotting paper, and the staining rack. These are the requirements for conducting the Gram staining procedure. After the preparation of smear, place the fixed smear on the staining rack. First, add the crystal violet staining solution over the smear. Cover the entire smear with the staining solution and allow it to stand for 1 to 2 minutes. After 1 to 2 minutes, wash it with the distilled water. Secondly, add the Gram's iodine solution over the smear. Cover the entire smear and allow it to stand for 1 to 2 minutes. After 1 to 2 minutes, wash it with the distilled water. Thirdly, add the methanol over the smear. Cover the entire smear with the methanol and allow it to act for 15 to 20 seconds. After 15 to 20 seconds, wash it with the distilled water. Lastly, add the dilute carbyl fuschian staining solution over the smear. Cover the entire smear with the staining solution and allow it to stand for 30 seconds to 1 minute. After 30 seconds to 1 minute, wash it with the distilled water. After washing, blot dry the smear using the blotting paper. Now, the stain smear is ready for the microscopic examination. The microscopic examination. Place the stain slide over the stage. Examine the slide under 100x oil immersion objective microscopy. The microscopic examination on microscopic examination. If you are observing these type of microscopic features based on coloring property, since the microorganisms here are stained violet color, there are gram positive organism. Then, here the organisms are spherical shape. So, they are cocci. Next, the arrangement. There are arranged in clusters here. So, the result is written as the bacterial culture stained using the gram staining technique is gram positive cocci with cluster arrangement. The example of bacteria is the staphylo coccus species, which posses this type of microscopic character. Next, on microscopic examination, if you are observing this type of microscopic features, based on coloring property, since the microorganisms here are stained violet color, there are gram positive organism. Then, here the organisms are spherical shape. So, they are cocci. Next, the arrangement. There are arranged in chain here. So, the result is written as the bacterial culture stained using the gram staining technique is gram positive cocci arranged in chain. The example of bacteria is the strepto coccus species, which posses this type of microscopic character. Next, on microscopic examination, if you are observing this type of microscopic features, based on coloring property, since the microorganisms here are stained pink color, there are gram negative organism. Then, here the organisms are rod shape. So, they are bacilli. Next, the arrangement. There is no specific arrangement noticed. So, the result is written as the bacterial culture stained using the gram staining technique is gram negative bacilli with no specific arrangement. The example of bacteria is the E. coli, the salmonella, and many others, which posses 
this type of microscopic character. Coming to, the summary of Gram staining technique. First, the preparation of, the bacterial smear. After, air drying, and, heat fixation of smear, add, the crystal violet staining solution, and, allow it to act for 1 to 2 minutes. Followed by washing, add, the Gram's iodine solution, and allow it to act for 1 to 2 minutes. Then wash it, and add, the methanol, and allow it to act for 15 to 20 seconds. Followed by washing, add, the counter stain the dilute carbofushin staining solution, and, allow it to act for 30 seconds to 1 minute. Instead of carbofushin, in some gram staining protocol, the safranine, is also used, as counter stain. After staining, wash, blot dry. And, examine under, oil immersion microscopy. This is the summary of, the gram staining technique. The color difference in staining, is due to, their difference in their cell wall constituents. The gram-positive bacteria, have, the thick peptidoglycan layer. But, the gram-negative bacteria, have, the thin peptidoglycan layer. And in addition, the gram-negative bacteria have another layer, the outer membrane, which is rich in the lipid content. So, the gram-positive bacteria, fixes the primary stain, and appears, deep violet. But, the gram-negative bacteria, do not fix the primary stain, due to their thin peptidoglycan layer, and also, it get easily decolorized with methanol, due to high lipid content, in the outer membrane. So finally, it takes the counter stain, and appears, pink. With this, we are coming to the end of, the Gram staining technique. In next video demonstration, we will see about, the acid fast staining technique, which is also a differential staining technique. Hope, the demonstration, is informative and useful. Thank you.